guys, michaelsmadbacker.com. Today is the first day of summer and we are doing something fun for our kids. Let me show you. Can you guess where we're going today? Yep, we are going to Knott's Berry Farm. What's up guys, getting all loaded up with gas. guys we finally made it into the park i'll tell you the first day of summer is crazy i don't know if it's worth coming to nosberry farm on the first day of summer but we're here and we're gonna enjoy the day we're gonna head over to the cali or the uh, river rapids calico river rapids we're gonna go on that first and uh, we'll get some video on that show you guys what that's like here we go downtown Calico. That was, it was really crowded at the entrance. I've never seen it that busy. Today, uh, a lot of the schools are coming in to do their school field trips. Uh, some schools are still in session. Our kids over at Riverside, they are out. And they are enjoying summer, it's the first day. So we are going to get on some water rides first because it's super hot. We'll see what we can find. Calico River Rapids. It is a short line for the Calico River Rapids. Let's see. Once we get further through this queue here, if it gets any longer, super excited. I can't wait to get to Where are we going? Sweet. We're gonna kinda get wet a little. Just a little? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh man. Oh, it's already bumping around. Berry Tales. This goes over here towards the boardwalk. But we are actually going to go on the Berry Tale 
Return to the Fair, which is their little blaster ride. It's time for a little fairy tale. Here we go. Not too bad, huh? Yeah. A lot of fun. We got no water going down the, the drop right now. Okay guys, we did it. We made it to the end of the Timberline log ride. Super, super cool, a lot of fun. Don't get super wet, a little bit of wet, but not bad. Was that pretty good? What ride was that? The log ride here where? At Knott's Bay Farm? Cool. You recommend it? It's not too scary. Okay guys, looks like we are heading over to the Fiesta Village to go on the Dragon Swing, so this is gonna be pretty cool. Oh yeah! Here we go. 
show about to go on the Dragon Sweep. I can't wait to do this. I'm sad. did the hat dance and that is a little bit too much spinning for me we had that thing going pretty good I'm glad I didn't have any drinks or any food before we went on that because that probably would not have been a good thing okay guys we are gonna be hanging out in Camp Snoopy for a little bit because it is busy today and the rides over here at Camp Snoopy are super short so the girls right now are about to go on one of the little kids roller coasters this ride I was gonna go on it with them but I've already gone on the hat and pants ride which was enough spinning for me for a little bit until probably after lunch maybe this evening we'll come back over here to Camp Snoopy and do some more fun kids rides. Hey, today is the first day of summer and Camp Snoopy is not busy. It's not crazy busy. The rest of the park, the big rides, a little bit busier. A lot of the schools are here, but as far as Camp Snoopy, it is not bad at all. I'm ready to go on this time right here. It's What's it called? It's called the Kite Flyers. Kite Flyers. Yeah, it's by Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Very cool, dude. What time is it, dude? It's time to eat lunch. It's time for lunch! Our favorite Woo! food! Hello! Down here! Welcome to the cave! Welcome to the cave! We are on the hunt for food right now. It is, uh, actually it's like two something. So it's kind of surprising how busy the food places are. Ghost Rider, the wait in line is super, super long. So we're probably either gonna wait to do that in the evening or we might have to skip it for today. Okay guys, it looks like we found a place to eat, so we're gonna try Wagon Wheel Pizza. 
we've seen this place a couple times when we've come here, but we've never ever tried it. So this is gonna be fun. Let's give it a shot. Wait, Okay guys, if you've never been to Knott's Berry Farm, of course, they are super known for their jams. So let's go check out their selection of different jellies and jams they have. Jellies. Strawberry, cherry, peach. Apple pie. Apple pie. Boysenberry, of course. Of course, Ghost Town Toy Auction and Novelties. This is Kelsey time. I don't think I've ever been in here. Oh, magic stuff. Yeah, magic. Oh, yeah, I can see that. over now and go check out the bumper cars over on the boardwalk the kids love that one even though my daughters are a little bit too young to drive so that means Melissa and I will also be in the bumper cars with them but it's gonna be a lot of fun if you haven't done the classic bumper cars at Knott's Berry Farm it's definitely one of those old style carnival type rides that's just a lot of fun Just got off the Calico Mine Cart, and that is a lot of fun. It's a nice relaxing ride, a lot of theming, a lot of animatronics. Very, very fun. I definitely recommend it. What is up, guys? We are heading over to Jaguar right now. This is the ride Gavin wants to go on, so we're gonna go check it out and see uh, how that one goes.
over to the stagecoach. Something I've never ever ridden and I've lived in Southern California pretty much my whole life and I've never been on this ride. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Okay, so was it worth going to Knott's Berry Farm on the last day of school, the first day of summer? And I am gonna say yes, it is still absolutely worth going and visiting a park on this day. For us this year, that day fell on a Thursday, which I thought was a good idea because of the fact that usually Knott's Berry Farm is a lot busier on the weekends. Now, there are a few things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind if you are gonna be visiting the park during this time frame. You're gonna to have to remember that a lot of the junior highs a lot of the high schools, they do graduation field trips. So the day that we went, there was a lot of school buses uh, and quite a bit of different schools there attending the park. So the entry into the park was a little bit busier than normal, but you also need to keep in mind that a lot of these kids are gonna be the teenage years. So they're not gonna wanna do a lot of the smaller rides. They're gonna wanna do a lot of the larger rides like Ghost Rider, Silver Bullet. But for the most part, our day at the park was very, very good. We were able to get on quite a few rides. Now there were a few larger rides, uh, some of the bigger roller coasters like Ghost Rider that had a hour and a half to two hour wait. Now I recommend if you are gonna go on the first day of summer, the uh, last day of the school year, you're going to wanna hit some of those bigger rides first because you can end up having to wait a lot longer uh, if you wait until the middle of the day or towards the end. Another thing to keep in mind, a lot of these schools, they come on uh, school buses, right? They're gonna come on school buses, so they have to leave the park at a certain time to get back to their school bus. A lot of the school buses start loading back up at 5, 5.30, so the park will slowly start to empty out in the evening. Knott's Berry Farm on that day happened to be open till eight o'clock, so around 5, 5.30, we started to see Knott's Berry Farm start to clear out a little bit. Some of the lines started getting shorter. Now for us, we were able to get on a lot of rides without having to wait in line. A lot of them were um, pretty much walk-ons, there were a few rides, I think we made it, waited maybe 30 to 40 minutes for some of the larger rides, like the Log Ride or Calico um, River Rapids if you do it in the evening. But other than that, I give it two thumbs up. Definitely still worth visiting. Just keep those things in mind when you plan your trip with your family or if you're going with a uh, large group of people. Okay guys, thanks for checking out our video and we'll see you again next time for our family fun trips to parks. Later.